Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna cut straight to the chase one more time. Today's video, we're gonna do some flybys and a little bit of in-person point of view driving of the Nissan Z. But before we begin this video, if you are new, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel for more Nissan Z content. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you can help us out, that'd be freaking amazing. If you guys missed last episode, we finally received and installed our brand new catback exhaust system for the Nissan Z from Fast Intentions. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little out here. Check that channel out. That's gonna give you a comparison of the stock system and the new Fast Intentions TDX style catback system. It's also gonna show you the installation and the unboxing of the exhaust as well. So really awesome episode, really cool to watch. So I definitely recommend you guys watching that prior to this video. If you landed on this video and you already watched that video, today I'm gonna show you guys some flyby sounds with the new exhaust. So for those who don't know, this is a 2023 Nissan Z. It's got a full catless downpipe, resonated catless downpipe, three inch tubing all around. And then the catback system from Fast Intentions is two and a half, 2.5 inch exhaust system. TDX style has got an X pipe in the middle. Let's go ahead, rip the Z down the airstrip and let's see how this thing sounds, man. Alright guys, we made it to our very famous popular airstrip right here. Thankfully, I don't think this is going anywhere. They're, this is just a bunch of land. They're building a bunch of buildings around here and houses and neighborhoods. But luckily, they're away from here and there's nothing that way. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and begin this video by doing a couple revs. We're going to give you a couple revs and then we're going to do the flybys and then we'll do the POV driving back home and let me know what you guys think. She's a legend. 
Hop back in, lady. What I really, really love about this exhaust is that no matter how low you are in the RPM, whether you're high or low, uh, you guys know with exhaust systems, usually the low RPM sounds very raspy, like, like the sound is just not controlled at all and it can sound bad but when it gets in the higher rpms it sounds oh damn that was a stop sign um it sounds very it sounds a uh, high pitched it sounds a little bit better right well with this exhaust no matter how low in the rpms i could be in one 1000 rpm or 2000 and i can gas it and it'll still sound toned good defined and that's what i really like about it i will admit this is probably not the loudest of all exhaust but i think this is honestly a good sweet spot for me one because i live in california i don't want to get pulled over so i idle is not loud when i'm driving through like just shopping centers is not loud if i'm just cruising is not loud but when i step on it you can you can hear it you and it, and it sounds nice so um hopefully reflected in the flybys um but we're just gonna give you guys uh, kind of a rip. All right, so look, this is 2,000 RPM. We're gonna climb up. Oh my God, something's wrong with third gear. Damn, was that security? My bad. guys the video is effectively over hopefully this video really illustrated um kind of like the, the sound level like it actually is louder than stock i know in the freaking comparison clips and the reps when we installed the the exhaust initially you can hear the difference but it's very slight but in person you actually do hear the difference and hopefully these flybys kind of reinforce that that comment you know Yes, it's not the loudest. I know it's not the loudest. But I've noticed with these VR30 motors is that if they're loud, they usually don't sound that good. And I really wanted a nice sounding car. And honestly, I think this sounds probably one of the best sounding. Although it's not the loudest, it's probably one of the best sounding exhaust systems out there. So. That being said though, I'll catch you guys next episode. We still need some intakes for the Z. I did partner with K&N right to develop the new intakes. They're still developing them right now. So I don't know when they'll be here. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have no time frame for you guys, but we do plan on doing other things. Like I said, I need a heat exchanger for this. And then I also want to get a tune, right? But I really want those intakes. I want to get some power out of this. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys next episode. Thank you guys for tuning in today. And Peace out, amigos.